Hey there, in this video I want to talk a bit about the league launch, the current state of things, and a bit of a follow-up on my last video to talk about the new league mechanic and the crafting possibilities of it. So, as you've surely noticed, there were a lot of undocumented changes in the patch notes that we're just finding out about now. And loot drops are a bit scarce right now, and people are trying to figure out how to adapt. So I want to talk a bit about what I've been doing, where First of all, uh, I've been mostly focusing on Essence because the way to deal with the sort of general increased item quantity nerfs is to focus on League mechanics that have guaranteed drops. And Essence is absolutely 100% the king of guaranteed drops. You don't care about what map tier, you don't care about your item quantity, none of that matters. All that matters is how many Essences the mobs have. So. Essences in low tier maps, which is what I'm doing, I'm staying in white maps and just farming essences for now, is a fantastic strategy. Uh, however, even in white maps, some of these essences, their life totals can get kind of insane. So my build has semi-decent single target damage on a budget. Yours might not, so this might not be super viable to you. So I want to talk about some of the other league mechanics that are pretty good. Uh, strongbox is fine just because you get the operative strongbox with the scarabs, which are pretty good. And, you know, you're not super happy to get 20 fusings versus a divine orb, but you'll still get six links. You'll still vendor them for 20 fusings. It's still like four or five chaos. You'll, you'll be happy about it. Another one that I'm actually focused on, though, is heist. So right now, in the first couple days, first week of the league, uh, Everything you can get from these heist notes in the Alice is selling for a decent amount. Uh, the good contracts sell for a decent amount, blueprints sell, and most importantly, rogues markers are like 400 markers per chaos at the moment. So if you invest into heist markers, you know, all the heist stuff on the tree, I even have the uh, bounty target pack up here. This drops like 2000 plus rogue markers every time I kill it, which is like, you know, it's, it's five chaos. It's pretty decent money. Uh, so that's pretty good right now. Uh, another source of guaranteed loot rewards that I'm not specced into is Expedition. So I'm sure Expedition Scarabs are kind of pricey, but what pe we got to keep in mind though is that when you do Expedition, you have access to Tujin and you can just convert all those relics directly into currency. So if you're doing a sort of low tier like white map Alpingo strategy, you can just get Stream of Consciousness, spec into, into Expedition and Expedition Chance and just cash in all those relics at Tujin and Rog, maybe even sell your, maybe even sell any expedition you logs just to try to get some quick cash early on. And that might be a bit better if you're more of a clear speed, if you're more of a, a clear speed build and not necessarily, you know, have the single target damage I do for something like Essence. Uh, so that's some of the good stuff that's good early on. Stuff I would recommend avoiding would be Beyond. Uh, apparently the new Tainted Currency got super nerfed and the new Beyond Monsters are, you know, they're not a lot of magic and rares. They're not adding a lot of, you know, item drops to your map. And they're also pretty tanking, a bit scary. So I would not recommend Beyond. Uh, I would also not recommend doing Lakes of Calandra, like most of you probably are. I'm just holding on to them for now. GG, GGG has said that they're going to be buffing um, the rewards from these in the future. So perhaps in the, ooh, I'm actually gonna do some of these trades. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, Essence is good money, you know, especially if you do it in bulk and you can sell for way, way above uh, market price. I know Grimrose is like, just sell the whole tab for one chaos each. But no, when you get bulk, you can sell some of these for well, well above that. You know, like this one's for three, this one for three. Uh, some of these ones down here are pretty pricey. The Obviously, you sell these for more. Um, but generally, I like to price things at above market rate and then just wait until I have enough bulk for them to sell. And if I need cash, I can just lower prices, you know, slash prices and liquidate them all. But uh, I'm doing pretty decent for now as far as currency goes. I, I went to the Exalt Orbs. These are worthless now. I, you know, I got some currency. Um, so this strategy is working pretty well for me. Uh, things are kind of rough right now, though. So if you have any tips yourselves, you should go ahead and leave them in the comments, share them with people. Maybe we can, you know, come up with some other good ideas for things to farm because things are kind of wacky right now. And... I'd, I'd love to see what things you guys have come up with. As far as the crafting stuff I talked about in my last video, there, there, there's kind of nothing to report so far. Because the League mechanic is kind of not great to run, I haven't been doing it a whole bunch, and 
It does seem that the ethereal reflecting mists, which are the ones which let you put in your own items, are exceptionally rare. Uh, it's kind of unclear how rare because, you know, like I said, not really running them at the moment. But it, it does kind of put a damper on a lot of the crafting stuff I talked about in the previous video if just getting a hold of them is prohibitively expensive to begin with. However, of note, from the subreddit, there are multiple reports of people receiving items which have no negative inverted downsides. These are items they got from Reflecting Mists in the Lake of Calandra that have the boosted stats where like everything's multiplied by the multiplier. However, it's just like five or six upsides with no inverted downsides. It's likely that this is an incredibly rare outcome. And the fact that it's possible kind of throws a wrench in everything. And it's unclear how that's going to pan out as far as what that means for how you try to use these things. So we'll have to look into it a bit more in the future once we actually have some access and I get to spend some time using this crafting method, if that point even comes to pass. For now, I'm just focusing on, you know, acquiring currency and gearing up my character so that I can hopefully reach that point sooner rather than later. Hopefully you guys are having a fun league launch in spite of the fact it's been a bit of a bumpy ride. And uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.